He believed for the last 20 years, people from all over the world, they've traveled to a small town in West Tennessee to learn how to fight for their lives. The company's motto is, we teach good people to kill bad people. Fox 13's Valerie Calhoun found out the makeup of those classes is changing in response to the active shootings and gun violence we see every day. Deep in the woods near the Tennessee River, there's a deeply rutted gravel path where people come from all over the world to learn how to fight for their lives. So we are teaching you how to fight with a gun instead of shoot. Tactical response, a weapons training facility established in 1996 to teach defense contractors, officers, and the military how to use guns of all kinds. One of the big differences in recent years is the makeup of the class. Now we're seeing more women learning the fighting pistol. I had an attempt break in several times in the city of Chicago. These are your average everyday parents, school teachers, accountants. Kayla Lewis and her sister Heather inherited the company from their late father, James Jaeger. She says the increase in active shooters is one reason more people want this kind of training. It's hitting home for a lot more people because they are becoming so much more common. That's why Haley Hansen is here from Wisconsin. There's been shootings in Milwaukee at a salon. I personally work at a salon, so just to feel more empowered, feel more and safe in my work environment, and be able to provide that for my coworkers. Chicago's Rhonda Ezell says this is a step above regular gun training. Give me two rounds. Fight! Rhonda and Haley travel to Camden, Tennessee for the two-day fighting pistol class. The key word, fight, as in fight back. When the bad guy shows up, he's not going to tell you, I'm only going to do this. Or don't worry, I'm not going to do that. So this is a fighting pistol class which teaches you how to fight with your firearm. It's intense, and to someone like me without much gun experience, more than a little intimidating. Lewis walked me through it to show it's something anyone can learn. One shot. Fight! Here you see people responding as if a bad guy is holding a loved one hostage. They get one shot. 54 students have been in, in an actual life and death situation involving a gun or defense since they've had this class, and our record's 53-0-1. The one guy that lost was not more than five miles from here, and he didn't take a gun to a gunfight. This summer, an armed bystander shot and killed an active shooter at a mall in Greenwood, Indiana. The police chief called him a hero, saying many more people would have died if Eli Dickin had not taken action. Neither Dickin nor the chief would talk to me for this story. We talked to Collierville Police Chief Dale Lane one year after a man shot 13 people, killing one at the Kroger on New Mahalia Road. Because in an active shooter situation, these incidents um, are driven uh, by people who want to create fear and they're looking for the highest number of victims that they can and so compliance does not make you safer it actually makes you much more vulnerable so we hate to say that but if we are not there and we can't intervene at that moment you must fight for your life have you been advised of something going on in Kroger but sometimes police can't get there in time that's why Chief Lane says you need to have a plan as in an active shooter situation these incidents um, are driven uh, by people who want to create fear and they're looking for the highest number of victims that they can and so compliance does not make you safer it actually makes you much more vulnerable so we hate to say that but if we are not there and we can't intervene at that moment you must fight for your life. Ezell agrees and now she has the training to back up her plan. But at the end of the day it's our job like I said to protect us. Chief Lane echoes what instructors have drilled into the minds of these students you must have the training and you have to have the right mindset. Carrying a firearm is not always the answer. If you're not trained and you're not mentally prepared to use it, it's the worst idea ever. It's for Hanson, who's headed back to her salon in Wisconsin. Made me feel more empowered, like, yep, I can do this. In Camden, Tennessee, Valerie Calhoun, Fox 13 News. Now, there are other places that offer gun training possibly similar to tactical response that are closer to the Mid-South. Tactical response, of course, as you heard, Valerie, is in Camden, Tennessee. Experts say the key is to get training and practice so you're comfortable handling your weapon and you know how to use it, just in case.